My name is Jeremy Smith. I'm a chainsaw carver and a sculptor from Rome, Georgia. It's so weird. I, I didn't really start out in life thinking, man, I really want to be a carver when I grow up. But uh, what happened was I basically wasted 37 years of my life just doing whatever. And then in October of 2012, my wife asked me to carve a pumpkin for a pre-K class. And it just set off a, a fire in my mind. It just ignited a passion for, for sculpture. And then after that, I moved on to whatever I could find. I carved the gigantic carrots we used to get at the sushi restaurant I worked at, carved candles, uh, bought a little $60 Dremel, and started carving styrofoam blocks. My friend and neighbor gave me a piece of firewood from his firewood pile. And I dremeled on that piece of wood for about four months in my spare time. And I turned it into a piece of artwork that I sold for $1,000. My very first wood carving. Maybe this was something to get into. Typical production process is uh, usually commission. People commission me to do things and um, I'll set up some kind of a, um, appointment and talk to them about it. and basically find out what the customer wants uh, carved and, and what their budget restrictions are and so forth. And then we come together with a plan. Uh, sometimes I'll draw pictures of the bigger ones. Sometimes I'll start uh, sculpting maquettes, you know, basically little miniature versions of the things I intend to carve for the larger projects. Uh, and then after which, uh, it depends on the project. Sometimes they're huge and I have to work on them on site. Sometimes they're smaller, I can work on them here. You make your first cuts, they're called blocking cuts. These are the bigger, wider cuts. Basically the, the general shape of the object you're trying to carve starts to come out with the blocking cuts. And then once you've done all you can with the larger saw, you move on to a smaller saw, and it does smaller cuts, more detail, more intricate, till finally you get to what's called a dime tip saw, which has a tiny little bar on it, and you can get some great detail in with that one. And then after the saws, uh, then you have your angle grinders, your die grinders, and the final step, first tool I used in wood carving, the Dremel. You burn off the little fuzzies and then you sand it and then paint it, stain it, whatever you know the particular piece requires. I always practice good safety. You'll notice I didn't start the thing out unless I had chaps on, steel toed shoes, breathing respirator, ear protection, everything. I have a Facebook page, I have a website, I have Instagram, I have Twitter, I have all these things, but mostly the most interactions I get are people that just stop by my house when I'm carving. Doc and Jenny Kilber were, were some of my earlier customers. She got me to do the Red-Headed Stranger burger that, uh, uh, that they serve there, and a beer, and a Pilsner, and doing that burger was awesome. But I told her, oh yeah, uh, if you want, I can put the red and the pimento peppers on your pimento cheese burger that's medium. And uh, that's exactly what I do. I'm proud of that one. You know, if you're gonna make art, and that's what I guess I've decided I'm gonna do, you can't half-ass it. There's no half step towards doing it. You gotta go all in. You can't just stick your toe in the, in the water and oh, it's some arty water. You gotta dive right in. I've been low class, on the bottom, all my life. Still am, but I'm working my way up, and I have a shot, and my son has a shot. I can teach my son a trade.